All right, everyone, you might be trying to figure out how to use Stage Manager on your iPad that is running iPadOS 16.1. Now, doing this is actually very, very easy. But the first thing you want to do is make sure not every, you know, you need to understand not every iPad is supported. You have to have an iPad that pretty much is bezel-less, that has either the A12Z, X, or the M1 chipsets. So it's a majority of iPads out there. But the way you can tell if you have it is for one, updating to iPadOS 16.1, which is the latest version of iPadOS. And then what you wanna do on the top right corner, you wanna basically slide down right there and you will have this new little option right there, which is basically Stage Manager. So what you can do is you can go ahead and click on that little Stage Manager icon and you might get a pop-up, you might not. So in this case, we didn't get a pop-up, but as long as you have that open, what you can do now is you can start opening up your applications. So in this case, I can open up you know, my App Store right there and you'll basically see that the panel looks a little bit different. So now, as you can see, I can go ahead and pretty much use my iPad as I normally would. But if you look into my left side, you'll see I have a few different pop-ups that come up. So what I can do here is I can go and get into Safari. So here you might see whatever this subreddit I was on. You can see the boxing subreddit. <laughs> so what I can do here now is I can go and swipe down from the top right. And as long as I'm good, then you're pretty much good to go. But you can swipe but you can swipe to the side just like this and you'll see that little prompt and you can click here and you're back in stage manager. So you'll basically have multiple windows you can go and swipe between just like this. So now I can go between here, go between here quickly and easily. Now if I want to go and get out of stage manager, I can just tap on the side right here like I just did and you'll basically get out of it. Now if I go and swipe over one more time, another crazy thing is I can drag a window from here and I can bring it over here just like how I could on macOS. So now I can drop it over and now I can have two windows pretty much side by side. So I can grab the top, I can move this one over here. I might be able to resize it if I go and go like this, possibly not. But I can also go and grab this window, I can drag it to the side right there. And now I can have two windows side by side. Now I can still get into my standard, you know, multitasking panel if I go straight into here. So I still have that type of advantage. But if I go and click back into here, I basically have two applications side by side next to each other. Now I can always get into my dock. Now I can always get into my dock and choose this other application too over this one, but that is basically how you use it. It's really, really cool, and there's a tons of things you can do here. You can also go ahead add another window by tapping up there. You can minimize this window, and that is basically how you do it. You can just go back and forth. I think it's really awesome. Now if you want to completely get out of Stage Manager and no longer have it turned on, you can swipe down from the top, click on this little button, and now Stage Manager will basically go away. Now there's still lots of glitches going on, so it'll be you know a little bit better throughout time. But that is basically how you use it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.